Spaghetti pie. We made it with leftover spaghetti and red sauce. I'm gonna show you how to make it from scratch. So, first things first, spaghetti pie. First so thing we are we really just not gonna talk about the tracksuit? I find that I very much like the tracksuit, and I now understand why my grandfather wore them all the time. Incredibly comfortable, I recommend them for everybody. All right, so I have water going. We're gonna have to add salt to the water and then we're gonna cook the spaghetti. As I mentioned earlier, when I was a kid and we would have this, we would often make it with leftover spaghetti, but you could do it from start to finish this way too. I have water simmering. I'm gonna put the salt in. It quickly comes up to a boil at that point. We're dropping in our spaghetti. Now, if you were looking at the package of spaghetti, it would probably say cook spaghetti for eight to 10 minutes. This is gonna get baked. So this is only gonna be about a four minute cook on the pasta. We're just letting it release its initial starches, start to kind of soften up a little bit so it's pliable and we can work with it. And then it'll continue to cook. So when you put that pasta in the water, give it a little stir, which is gonna help it from sticking. So what we're gonna use to kind of bind this spaghetti pie together is a little bit of ricotta cheese, mm. some Parmigiano Reggiano. I'm just gonna grate this in here. And there's not a lot of this mixed with the noodles, but this think of this almost a little bit as a binder. You have this, we're gonna toss it with tomato sauce, and this kind of holds everything together. So if you're visualizing it, you want kind of equal parts ricotta and Parmigiano Reggiano. Three whole eggs. Are there any cheeses besides parm and ricotta that work really well together? Yeah, well, Liv, this is kind of Italian themed. So I'm gonna use um, ricotta and Parmesan. They go great together. Pecorino, Romano would also work in here. Okay, so I'm gonna clear some of this off. We are gonna take a little bit of fresh oregano. Just salt and pepper. And you didn't put the stems in there, right? No stems. This So oregano is a hearty herb. Uh, the stems tend to be a little bit on the stronger side, so I would not put those in here. Pinch of salt, but we don't need a whole lot of salt because Parmigiano Reggiano is a salty cheese. And then we're just gonna whisk this all together. To this mixture, we are gonna add, um, you know, about two cups of marinara sauce. You can make your own marinara sauce if you, there's one that you love at the store. Not adverse to it. This is the basic recipe of Marcella Hassan, which is my basic tomato sauce. We've made it on the show before. You could find the recipe on the Food Network website. So we're gonna put half of this in here. It matches which, your tracksuit so well. See, maybe that's what this tracksuit was all about. We're gonna reserve the rest to warm up to serve with our spaghetti pie. You know what I'm saying? No sauce left behind. No sauce left behind. So our pasta should be about ready, and it is. Do you ever leave the top on the pot while cooking? No. <laughs> the only time I put a lid on something if I want it to boil quicker. Okay. But you could see that the noodle, it's pretty al dente. I'm gonna add this to our sauce, and it's gonna appear to be relatively saucy. But remember, this noodle is gonna continue to cook as it is baking. So it's gonna absorb this sauce and continue to, to cook as it bakes. We have cheesecake pan, a little bit of olive oil spray. And the reason that we're putting a spray on here is just so things don't stick. You could certainly do this with just butter. So we're just coating the inside. We're going to take our nice al dente pasta and that sauce, and we're going to put it right in our cheesecake pan, give it a little press down, and now we're gonna top this with fresh mozzarella. Good amount, so it's good and cheesy. And then once that mozzarella goes on, and you could even go with more cheese if you want, we're gonna top it with a little bit of the Parmigiano Reggiano. Is Parmesan Reggiano the same as just Parmesan? No. Parmigiano Reggiano is Parmesan from Italy, P A with the G I A N O. Uh -huh. Parmesan, P A R M E S A N, is an American version of this cheese. Oh. There's good 
Parmesan in America, but there is nothing like Parmesan Reggiano. Our grill, if you look down at our grill right now, it's at about 400 degrees. So we're looking for 350 to 400 degrees temp in the grill. And we're gonna use our grill as an oven. You can see we have coals in back. The settings on the, the airflow are tamped down to about 25%. That's gonna give us that 350 to 400. We're gonna set this off the flame. So the coals are in back. We're gonna put our lid back down. We're gonna let this start to bake till it gets golden brown on top. It's gonna take about 20 to 30 minutes, depending on stuff, spaghetti. Pie, Liz, what? what? Look at it. Nice. I'm just gonna let this. Looks like a souffle. Look at it, Liz. Look at it. It's gorgeous. The spaghetti pie. We let it rest for about 10 minutes, like kind of like you would with the lasagna. Just it just helps it set up a little. Right? Yep. I just went around the edge to make sure that we're gonna get a ooh, and we're gonna a nice clean release. Wow. Look at it. Uh, I mean, like come on. Birthday cake. <laughs> you could put a candle in this. Absolutely. And then we're just gonna cut it up. Oh, look at it! It just holds really well. Nicely. Yeah, there's. I put some eggs and ricotta ah, in there, so, so it it's a binder. Has what a little bit of a binder. binder. Yeah, I have a little bit of fresh basil from the gardens of Parmesan, some mm -hmm. olive oil. So I'm just gonna do a little yeah, bring a plate piece of the, oh, the cheese. Look at look it! Look at that! That is a work of art. And then we're gonna That's top gorgeous. this with some of that warmed up marinara right on top. A little bit of fresh basil and, and some Parmesan cheese. And then we have this grilled radicchio with that creamy dressing. Little bit of extra virgin oil. Come on, Sunday supper.